the situation in the north is stable, but we have to be prepared. Russia has one of their largest nuclear arsenal, very, very close to the Norwegian border, and they still have these capacities, but, uh, despite the conventional losses that we've seen at land. So we have to be prepared, and therefore uh, this region will be even more secure with Finland and Sweden within NATO. And do you still expect that uh, both Sweden and Finland will manage to become NATO members by July? Do you think that is still likely to happen? When that will happen, I cannot be sure. But they are delivering on everything, so they are prepared and we are ready to support them. And you've mentioned that it's also important to provide more help to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. What are you prepared to do to support Ukraine in the coming months? We just announced a package uh, from 95% of the MPs in the Norwegian parliament. And this is for the long haul. 7 billion euro in assistance to Ukraine. The first year, half of this package will go to military support, but also to reconstruction in the future. So this has been a commitment from most members of the Norwegian parliament for five years. I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, what President Zelensky has asked for as well. I know you're in charge of foreign policy, but mm -hmm. President Zelensky was very clear when he was in Brussels. He needs more ammunition. He needs more fighter jets. Mm -hmm. Why is NATO not saying yes to these fighter jets? Well, I'm not talking on behalf of NATO. <laughs> But we have been able to deliver a lot on President Zelensky's uh, requests and we'll continue to do that in the future. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.